and my two schoolfellows, whom I will trust as I will adders fanged. Okay, welcome. Uh, this is going to be the cleanup video. So, what I mean by cleanup? I'm going to be chopping off the bits of these. I'm going to be fixing cracks like that. I've already glued this piece on there. I'm going to chop the end of it off. Uh, basically, just putting, uh, covering the holes, covering these holes, these holes, you know, the things that stand out and are ugly, like this guy, I'll cover this up, you know, the things that would not be there in a real cockpit. Uh, and I found plastic wood, it's basically a kind of wood spackle there, and I've got some sandpaper, a spackle knife, and uh, basically, once that's done, it's all flush and smooth, we're ready to paint. So after that, I will take a, it's called a, it's called a data back. It's actually like a, a compressed air blower, but it's better than that because it's electric. It doesn't run out, but it's still just as powerful. So I'll use that to blow all the dust off this thing and then we're going to paint it. So, all right, I'll show you how I'm, uh, I'm going to do each step of the way. Let's get started. Okay. So for cutting these little bolts off, I just got a Dremel with a standard metal cutting tool. I'm just going to chop the little bits off there. Maybe go deeper than I have to, because I can just cover it with this wood spackle. Um, these guys are going to get sanded down with this regular sandpaper and it's pretty much it. I'm not going to go wild on this part yet, uh, cause it's up against the wall and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. Um, but, hmm, I've already got a bunch of ideas going through my head, but, uh, for now it's going to be just, you know, cleaning up the bolts sticking out. They're the number one offenders right now. So here we go. Oh, and it's absolutely essential that you wear eye protection. These things are going to send sparks going every which direction. So, I mean, you should always wear eye protection, but especially now. Okay, so the default Chinese on cutting wheel is really not good at all. So I'm using these uh, Dremel wheels that I had from a long time ago. These are fantastic. They wear down, need to be replaced, but they're quick detach. And so I recommend them. Okay, so next up, none of these are all sanded flush. There's just <laughs> dust everywhere. You can have a hard time. Oh, there we go. You have a hard time getting this dust out of here, no matter how much you blow on it and stuff so new weapon uh well actually really old weapon i've had this for a million years i bought it for like 40 bucks off of uh amazon but it's actually got recoil it's so powerful it's amazing so i'm gonna use this just Dust. So I'm going to use this to blow the dust off this thing and then sand it and then blow it down again And I'll be right back with you So I gave her a once over with the 60 grit uh, to remove stuff the 150 to kind of bump it down the 220 to finish it I don't see a need to go any finer than that honestly unless you want this thing like glassy smooth, which is a little ridiculous. I think um, Other than that looking Pretty good. I think um, I cut this piece and put it back on top there and cut the end off. And so that matches, <clears throat> excuse me, that matches the other side now. So next up, I'm gonna take this wood spackle and just spackle, you know, cracks and indents where there shouldn't be any, you know, stuff. We'll have the data back one more time and blow all the dust out. But then I'm gonna hit those cracks, get this stuff out of here. Um, I'm gonna hit these down here and I think it's time to paint. As for like lining this up with the skin, I'm not sure what I want to do. I might leave it exposed because this is going to be up against a wall for me. So you're not going to see this side of the simulator and I'm going to have a lot of work to do. So the skin is going to be something I do at a much later date, like the exterior skin. I'm not even sure how I'm going to even begin to do that. Plus I plan to model an interior wall for this. So you're not going to see it anyway. So that's just me. What you want to do with your sim is up to you. I don't know but uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I basically spackled the parts that you're gonna see on the outside, you know, like that, for example. So I'm gonna let it dry, I'm gonna sand it down, and then let's blow the data back one more time and we're ready for painting, so getting close. Oh, you think the darkness is your ally? Okay, all joking aside, safety first. So I've got a box fan set up to blow the extra paint dust. I've backed my motorcycles out of the garage. I've sanded this off, I've blown it off one more time with the data back. Make sure there's no dust and we're ready to paint. So um, I originally was gonna, initially was gonna paint just the sides that uh, you can see. Cause I'm like, well, why would I waste paint on the inside? We're not gonna even see the inside. 
And then someone was like, dude, you should paint everything because this is Florida and the humidity will destroy it eventually. And I was like, wow, I can't find a flaw in his logic. So yeah, I'm gonna paint the whole thing. Even the bottom, the parts that you can't see, I'm gonna paint it all. The whole thing's gonna be covered in paint. So here I go. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm going black along the top here. And then I'll mask that off to do gray for the rest of it. So, cause the black, the top can't be real, it's black and the real thing. So that's how I'm doing that. So I got done like this much and ran out. So moral of the story is uh, buy way more than you think you need. I only bought three and I'm gonna need a, a ton more than three. So three cans of paint and you can see I'm not even done. I'll take at least one more to finish this up and go over it. And uh, all those spots will go away when it dries, but I'll have to hit the spots I missed or things like that. So moral of the story is buy way more paint than you think you need. So I got a, I got a uh, palm sander because I'm lazy and it was super cheap. It was like 35 bucks at Harbor Freight. And I'm like, man, that's so cheap. That's awesome. Impressive. Very nice. Let's see the battery pack. Uh, okay, I've done a couple coats on this because it was just not looking the way I wanted it to look, but now it's now it's looking uh, pretty much there. Uh, so I'm gonna mask this with some tape and then finish off painting the gray and then this painting's done pretty much. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let's pull that masking tape up. Yeah, masking tape off and it's done. So, I mean, rinse and repeat for the other side. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, the next videos will be encompassing how I decide to do the avionics and whatnot. But as far as construction of the pit goes, that's, that's done. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I guess the series is pretty much done. Uh, God, oh, I missed a spot over there. I'll grab that in a second. But uh, that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you build your pit. And uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, the ejection seat. Okay, so I'll make another video on the construction of the ejection seat. I'll do that one next. So that's coming, stay tuned.